Look out the window between the blinds to see what Lori Smith claims she sees every night. The fearsome cryptid known only as the Dog Man. Lori's fearless cat always looks out the window when it comes around, ready to take the Dog Man head on, unafraid to stare back into its glowing yellow eyes. Alright, I will admit that I was 100% ready to disprove this video. I knew that this was just the mirror image of the cat's eyes reflecting back due to a weird camera angle. But then I got to this part at 1 minute and 55 seconds and knew I was wrong. But then I got to this part at 1 minute and 55 seconds and knew I was wrong. Watch very closely. She gets the cat's attention. The cat's head turns. Girl. One second later, at 1 minute and 56 seconds, the cat is looking the other way, and yet the eye remains staring straight ahead. This video experiment proves something which many governments do not want the general public to know. Turning objects invisible is actually way easier than you would think. Look what happens when this YouTuber lowers a basic glass test tube into vegetable oil. But if I actually put it in far enough that the entire test tube is submerged, it vanishes almost completely. This simple experiment proves that certain liquids can actually bend light around an object to render it invisible. The key is pairing the right reflective properties with the right objects. This basic scientific principle is what governments are currently experimenting with to create cloaking devices for humans and even aircrafts one day, if they haven't done so already. To further prove their point, this YouTuber pulls out a second test tube that's been hidden in the center of the glass the whole time. Let me know if you think this experiment really does have any military potential, or if this whole idea is too far-fetched to have any practical use. Sometimes those abandoned buildings that some urban explorers enter are not entirely abandoned. In fact, in some cases, they're the stomping grounds for the occult. Published to YouTube by Lego Papa TV in March of 2020. Papa was likely not expecting to be chased down by a hooded stranger performing a ritual in a house where lives have been taken, but that's exactly what happened. He writes, This is probably the scariest moment of my life I ever had. When moments like this happens, out of nowhere you put yourself in a situation that your mind goes blank. Papa explores the dark dwelling, which certainly gives off an aura that something terrible happened here. The house is utterly destroyed, littered with garbage, ransacked, covered with graffiti, and generally torn apart. As many in the comments point out, there were wet footprints at the doorstep, which may indicate that somebody recently entered the house, or was in fact there, or was still, in fact, there at the same time. And soon, Papa discovers he is not alone. As he wanders throughout the house, he hears noises. I know she stepped upstairs. Hello, anybody here? He even sees a flashlight as someone searches for him while he hides out in a bathroom. For some reason, despite all this, he continues exploring the house, ending up in the basement. But when he hears distinctive footsteps overhead, he hightails it out of there. Likely because it dawns on him that if he was to remain in the basement, he'd be completely trapped. It seems he escaped just in time. As he runs off into the woods, he glances back to capture a hooded person on camera, standing on the porch steps. If he had left a minute later, who knows what might have happened. Upbeat Jason puts on a helmet cam and rides around the neighborhood with his friend on BMX bikes. The video is mostly a nice view of the countryside until he comes across some neighbors with aggressive dogs and no leash. Jason tries to get past them instead of taking another way around, and suddenly finds himself flanked on both sides. Ah. There you go fast. A dog lunges straight at Jason, jaws snapping. I don't think they make any contact, but I can tell by the sound of their bark that they are ready to attack. 
Clearly, they would have protected their territory if Jason stuck around, which he does not. But just when he thinks he is a safe distance away, he hears barking behind him and the chase is on again. Eventually, an adult picks them up and quickly puts their bike in the back of their truck before anything else happens. I really hope the two friends never bike past that house again. Leonard Thomas Lake was a very evil man. It is believed that Leonard and his partner Charles Zhang took anywhere from 11 to 25 lives, keeping them in a remote cabin at the foothills of the Sierra Nevada in California. After a medical discharge from Vietnam, he joined a hippie commune near San Francisco where he got married for a short time. But soon Lake found someone who shared the same dark desires as he did. It was only when Lake met Charles Ng in 1981 that the pair started their shared spree. Charles had also served as a Marine but was dishonorably discharged for theft and desertion. The two agreed to share a cabin together. Lake had built a dungeon next to the cabin. The next year saw the two partners take a number of lives, including neighbors, friends, workmates, and sometimes whole families. On the cabin property, journals, remains, and these lost tapes were discovered. Some of the tapes revealed the horrible acts committed by these two heinous men. Others showed Lake's philosophy on what he wanted in life. Although Lake didn't see justice, you go on this, cooperate with this nice as we can to you within the limits of keeping you prisoner. The tapes served as proof that his partner Charles was involved in the actions, for which he was convicted on 11 counts. A real demon sighting is caught on camera according to an uploader named Esoteric Boy, a dark shadow haunting his room. He lightens the photo to reveal a tall mysterious figure with horns. Strangest of all, the alleged demon has a goat-like face and no reflection in the mirror, considering he has editing software. I think this could possibly be photoshopped, but if not, then it's time never to go into the room again. A YouTube channel called Exploring with Fighters travels to the same tunnel system as Dark Arts TV. He is explaining his nervous anticipation when a loud scrape occurs directly over his shoulder. No one is near him. You can tell by everyone's distant chatter that they are pretty far away. Listen for yourself and tell me if you agree no one else was nearby. At least, no one alive. This video is going to be far. They all get a really bad feeling upon discovering what could be fragments of human. Look at this part and tell me if he is tossing a part of someone's jaw or just a random piece of debris. I was wondering if these could belong to an animal, but then they discover a large collection of combs left over top, like this one for example. So I think we may have sadly found our answer. They are ready to leave before they come across any other horrible discoveries, but something follows them. This extremely creepy low laugh follows them on their way out, while the rest of the audio remains the same. In fact, what's especially scary is how one of these girls lets out a small chuckle shortly before this noise comes out. Almost as if it's laughing in response. Listen for yourself and tell me if you think this is edited or not. When Joey Salvatore and his friends learn that their entire neighborhood is rumored to be haunted, they go to the local cemetery and try to get something on tape. They don't really find much and eventually come back home, but it looks like something found them and managed to attach itself to a friend named Roger. Now he is standing motionless with his back to them in a dark room, and they are too freaked out to do anything more than secretly record his reflection in a mirror. After a while, he sits down and stops moving completely, so they decide to put Roger in his room and check on him later. Roger is nowhere to be found, at least not at first. Wait, turn the light on. <gasps> what the fuck? Roger! I'm done. They are totally freaking out when Roger comes wandering back into the room completely fine, wondering what had happened. 
The group feels unsafe at this point and has no choice but to send Roger on his way. Eventually, Roger says that he was just playing a joke on them, but it's unclear if he really means it or if he is just in denial. As it turns out, nostalgia isn't always a good thing. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Hey There, You Are Okay, the Redditor explains, So I was going through my old 3DS photos for nostalgia. The reason why I'm posting on this sub is because I'm not for sure if I caught anything in the background. Do you think it's younger me being scared? The video clip shows an empty bedroom. As he starts to scan the room, the video captures a dark room beyond. It's hard to tell if there's a window in that room. However, something appears to move there, or at least a shadow is cast that mimics movements. The camera passes upward to the ceiling, and when it returns to the closet, the shadow and light has changed a bit. But it's the next time the camera pans from one side to the other that the real change occurs. Explain these unknowable shadows. What is going on here? Is there something or someone in that room? No wonder the Redditor was freaked out. While exploring a military bunker in Britain, these ghost hunters may have made contact with the past on. Published by Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations in November of 2021, this investigation turns up frights galore. As the pair first tries to communicate with the spirits, something is lurking behind them. Was that hard on you, and heard that? So did I. They then hear scraping footsteps and deep breathing. I can hear tapping, scraping. What's that? They hear noises behind and in front of them. There's noise coming from down behind us. Behind me. Again, I heard noise, but this time it was from in front of me. While they continue to try and communicate, the cameraman notices something moving at the end of the tunnel, and zooming in captures what he believes to be a figure in the doorway. Later, they've also captured the partial apparition of what they think is a female phantom positioned behind a GoPro set up in another room. Did these investigators indeed capture some true paranormal entities? Maybe the souls of the soldiers who lost their lives in this bunker never left. Sleepwalker has a few tricks up his sleeve, published to the Thai channel Haunted Before Bed. This security footage captures a sleepwalker's misadventures overnight, and they're scarier than you can even imagine. The sleepwalker is seen standing over his bedmate, then sitting straight up in bed. A little later, he is posed strangely like he's dancing. Another room security camera captures him standing over a table, staring at it for a moment. Then he reaches his arm towards a water bottle on the far end of the table. This is where things get truly creepy. His arm stretches like Gumby to grab the bottle and then retracts to a normal length. Later, as he sits back in bed, an arm reaches out from under the bed. This time, it's not his Gumby arm, it's someone else's. A couple of guys are shown sleeping in another room at around 2.40 in the morning when suddenly a woman's scream is heard. They both get up from bed to investigate, and as they do, they hear a crashing sound like broken glass. They open the door to find the bed empty of its two occupants, and a human-like figure crouched on a windowsill, its eyes glowing as it looks at them. The figure then jumps from the second floor. The cameraman races to the window, but only darkness reigns. What was this figure? And where did the sleepwalker and his roommate go? It's a twisted nightmare in the making. Under the ancient city of Taif, Saudi Arabia is a scary haunted cave tunnel that you don't ever want to go exploring by yourself. Famous ghost hunter Abdullah Al Anbari has made a career out of fearlessly exploring such haunted places, but the question remains, will this haunted place scare him? Fishy. I'm going to use my 
So far, he's kept his cool among some scary things. Exploring the tunnel some more reveals that it's been walled off and yet just when the ghost hunter decides to turn around and go back, something paranormal beckons him to stay. The cave is suddenly filled with scary noises and a strange mist that wasn't there moments before. He waits for some more activity and finds nothing. Apparently, he is braver than the ghosts once more and leaves victorious. This video could be paranormal unless they somehow figured out a way to get on the other side of that wall to make the noises themselves, though I don't happen to see one. This four part TikTok series is a journey. Posted by Breadcrumb and Beaver's Pit, the TikToker was working her shift when she spotted something creepy between a crack in the ceiling tiles. It looks like an old man's face or a shrunken head. So I was staring at my ceiling right at work, and then like I see this like right, and I go over here. In the second video, the TikToker reveals the outside of this building. She says part of the building was a school from the 1920s. She enters the kitchen. The face thing is still exactly where it was last time. Seemingly peering through the cracks, she tries to lift the ceiling tile using a broom. At this point, she thinks it's either insulation or a rope. Here's the legendary area. It's still there. Just chilling. Next video sees her climbing up a stepladder to investigate. After lifting the tile, you don't really see the face thing, but you do see that there's a whole other room up there. In the last video, the mystery is solved. Lifting the ceiling tile, you can see what the object is, as the OP suggested earlier, a rope. What was it used for? The OP's theory is an old school bell. Although you may think the saga is over, some of the comments are seeing and hearing new mysteries. One hears something crying in this last clip, and some even claim to see a new person peering down at her. I am not personally seeing or hearing any of that, so we'll just stick with the rope. Mystery solved. An urbex YouTuber called RNK All Day is exploring a creepy building that used to be a funeral home before it was abandoned. The funeral home is not haunted per se, at least not from what I can tell, but what they find is every bit as scary as any ghost video you'll ever watch. You see, a long time ago, this North Carolina establishment was shut down because of improper business operations. People were not notified about their loved ones in a timely fashion, and the remains were often not stored properly at all. As RNK All Day explores the abandoned building, he finds evidence of their misdeeds laying out in the open. Sitting in a battered cupboard box on an old altar is a discarded plastic bag full of what appears to be ashes. There's no way to tell if these are the ashes of someone until you look at the box that definitely says cremation services. If this is what we think it is, which I think it almost definitely is, then they should be properly placed in an urn, not out in the open like this. And if there are more items like this lying around, then maybe this building is haunted after all. This paranormal investigator's creepiest capture in a cemetery is bone chilling. The YouTuber was exploring the hauntings at St. Joseph's Cemetery near Kimswick, Missouri, when she captured several EVPs. Michael. Michael? Later, while she was attempting to communicate with the passed on using a spirit box, Michael made his physical cameo. Watch to the right, just above the vehicle. Which grave is yours? Nobody appears to be in the vicinity. So to whom does this shadow belong? I vote for Michael.
For years, this man experienced paranormal activity in his home, including books and Xbox games thrown on the floor and lights turned on. After setting up a camera, he finally captured footage of the poltergeist, published by Seth Lee Thompson in July of 2010. This is just a small taste of what Seth has been dealing with. A second clip shows the stairwell at night. The last clip shows the ghost playing with the lights. According to Seth, the light switch you see to the right is the only one connected to the corresponding light. It flicks on and off several times. Is this hallway haunted? If it is, don't be scared. As YouTuber Dark Pisces reminds us in the comments, just because spirits move things does not make them automatically evil. A YouTuber named Xander H takes a group of friends to an asylum that was abandoned long ago. They come across wall after wall of graffiti and begin to wonder if people could still be living in here after all. What does they, they see? see you. That's like some anonymous Dude, it goes upstairs. Let's go up here. Go. There's not much to find on the first floor besides lots of written warnings and an overall bad feeling, so they decide to head upstairs. They don't even make it halfway before this happens to them. Something large and heavy stomps down the steps and sends the small group screaming for their lives. They don't get it on tape, but I still think this video is probably real because each member of the group is clearly on camera when they hear the running footsteps. I think there is a good chance this video is real and that they were chased out, maybe even by something supernatural. Earl Kirk Kendall captures a bright light in the sky, but it's not a meteor, lightning, or an unidentified flying device. It's his poor neighbor's house erupting. This video is terrifying because of how calm everything is before, during, and after. There's no warning signs beforehand, and seconds later, you'd never know a family's entire livelihood has gone up in flames. Even scarier, a cause for the incident has yet to be determined, meaning anyone in the neighborhood could be next. The CCTV video was taken after hours at a business in Ogden, Utah. All is quiet until a full speed plate dives out of a cabinet and shatters all over the break room floor. A security guard on patrol walks over and simply stares at the broken plate for over 10 full seconds before grabbing another to verify what just happened. Neither one can think of a proper explanation. They check the shelf and it looks fine. Let me know if you have any explanation for this video besides the paranormal. Unless the whole video is fake and someone off camera pulled a string then I have no idea how that plate could have fallen. If you're hunting for gin, you better be prepared. YouTube Team HD Adam Paranormal searches for the creatures in this paranormal home and they find them. The radio first signals that a being stands in this corner. As they continue around the haunted home, they encounter this shadow figure. <laughs> the shadow disappears, so they try to speak to the spirit. That's when they hear this. <laughs> <laughs> they hear unexplained banging as they search the place. Another bang, and then their sound goes out. Later, a strange rolling sound is heard. And something seems to be playing around with them. 
Ya abi. Duydun falan sesi. Duydun. Maybe it's this. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ölüzü bilen bile şey tanıcık. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Gelin gidin. Was this figure behind all of this paranormal activity? I'm of the opinion that there are multiple jinn active here. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.